the cylinder heads that I'm using on this engine aren't like the regular uh, camshaft cylinder heads that have like a drive belt drive on them on the crankshaft and all of that so we kind of lose all of that drive in the camshafts and everything and we have this free valve technology um, pneumatically controlled valves and the luxury that this provides you is having individual control over every single valve that opens and closes and so you can close it whenever you want you can open it whenever you want and for how long you want so uh, for instance you can um, run the engine like a two-stroke engine you can run it like a four-stroke engine you can run it very um, fuel efficiently and just open one of the valves and control just you have just uh, overall perfect control over the valves so what this also means is that you can uh, close and open uh, in the same cylinder the right or the left valve from each other individually so the other luxury that this brings is that you can um, have multiple like two exhaust systems one that is just a straight pipe that goes straight out into the atmosphere and one that is also uh, um, has some catalytic converters and everything to uh, for the cold start for the engine and everything so this makes the engine produce more horsepower because it can breathe better once it's warm and once you have um, so yeah once it's warm basically and it also allows you to run the engine um, through the catalytic converters when it's cold and when it's still uh, emitting a lot of toxic gases and everything so that is basically the great duality that you can create with a system like this so with giving this explanation I um, now just going to finish up making the exhaust system I already made the manifold for it so uh, um, so that is like a manifold that it has it looks like it's for a six cylinder engine but it's actually for a bank of three cylinders so um, let's just get into it so I'll uh, see you in a second so now that I got the inverters in place I can also put the uh, the, 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 the yeah the rear bonnet actually that goes over the engine and everything up again so um, maybe I could put a cut like cut it halfway see how much space I got in between there and even from this view you can already see that there is some space there so we could utilize that space and put the exhaust in there but um yeah I'm still debating myself on if that is the best solution and if that is really what I should do but yeah let's just let's just see if this space can be used for that and uh we'll figure it out also maybe if you can see it already on the floor the um the whole suspension anti-roll bar mechanism is kind of uh going through the floor so i was also thinking about putting a hole in there for also extra cooling for all of those components that are in there but also maybe that would um kind of have some sort of a diffuser effect if i would just cut a hole in this section of the floor so from uh, i don't know let's say from here somewhere so like this section cut it out and then put from here maybe um so some sort of a diffuser profile so make it go up a little bit and maybe we would um just increase the current of the air underneath there and all of that but that is for another video for now i wanted to see um if i could use this space for the exhaust manifolds and everything so yes i could and I would only need to make like a heat shield between the air box and this thing and then I would would be able to make them come out in this section somewhere here and I would have four exhaust pipes or maybe two um, one of them would be for all of the exhaust gases that come out um, through the uh, catalytic converter and one of them will be just be a straight pipe coming off the engine with um, yeah basically with no air box attached to it or, or anything so that is um what i'm having here but i'm thinking about making it four actually so uh we'll see what that ends up looking like so yeah i would say just let's let's get it going let's uh start it and we'll see uh where we end up at so um yeah i'll probably just make a speed art video <laughs>
so um yeah there is still some work to be done but uh i figured this would be somewhat of a cool exhaust system and at the same time i also really don't know what i'm doing with this so <laughs> this whole airbox and everything is just uh what i thought would work kind of sort of i guess but yeah this is uh the main thing is just this straight pipe and I, there should be some um some type of uh converter in here still and also uh, some sort of a pipe that has like this steel wiring and everything to make it flexible to uh, not get all the vibration of the engine through to this pipe but uh yeah i don't know nothing about that type of stuff so um just to simulate it and just to have it in the car i figured this will work and um yeah i also think it looks pretty cool and also these exhaust gases will kind of blow on top of the wing and everything once that is in place uh let's see if i can find that thing right quick oh where is it at wheel tail let's see where that is located at and um i think that will look cool so maybe we need to make that midsection of the wing right here also in titanium so it will become some sort of a heat shield or anything that might look cool so uh just at the top face of it yeah let's just we'll figure it out maybe that would look cool and then we'll make a rendering for the thumbnail for the video and also just to put it on instagram or something and uh yeah that will be it so um yeah i'm i'm just start to make the rendering and uh i will close the video off with the final result so here we go thanks for watching also please leave a like or subscribe to this youtube channel we finally breached like 100 subscribers on this video so um yeah thanks for everyone all the new subscribers that subscribe and i would love for that to grow even further so uh yeah, see you in another video. I'm Shaquille Felbron from SVA Design and I'm out.